Hi, this is Eric Heckman, and I'm here to teach you about how income writers work on annuities. So, a lot of annuities have an extra feature, typically you're paying for this feature, to have some sort of lifetime income benefit. And typically the, the calculation will be based on some growth formula. Sometimes it's earnings based, meaning whatever you earn every year, and maybe that's added 50% to it, or maybe it's doubled. But the traditional ones have a set interest rate. So say, whoops, sorry. Uh, so say it is a 7% uh, um, interest rate. So that means that 7% will grow every single year, or that account value will grow at 7%. Not really for withdrawal, but for an income for life calculation. So that's the biggest thing. It's kind of funny money-ish. So say you had a hundred thousand dollars. So if you had a hundred grand, um, that hundred thousand dollars at seven percent roughly would double. At, say at seven point two, it's going to double in in ten years. So that means that two hundred thousand would then be multiplied uh, by a factor, and the factor is based on your age. So say that factor was five percent. 200,000 times 5% means you're guaranteed to have 10,000 a year for life. Uh, typically these will be flat um, income guarantees, meaning once you start it's gonna be the same number for the rest of your life. Now one thing you gotta watch out about that income factor is it's based on age. So if you do it at 60, 65, or 70, that number might be higher. Um, some companies do it only at 60 and 70, and the really nice ones do it every single year. So in other words, what they're gonna do is, instead of going up from, say, four and a half to five at 65, they'll go 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, 4.9, and then 5%. Why is that a big deal? Well, maybe you wanna start your income at 63 or 64. That means that, that every time that payout percentage gets a little bit higher, that means you're gonna get a little bit more money. So uh, the only other real gotcha to these is the big, big one is a lot of the ones issued in the 2010s era when they first came out had to be extended if you wanna keep that income growth going. So in other words, that 100 grand maybe grew to 200,000. Uh, well, if you wait another seven years, I mean another 10 years at 7%, it would be 400000 Well, that's a great deal. But if you don't renew, the insurance company will keep it at that 200 mark for the rest of your life. Even though that payout factor is going up, the income value has stopped. And the reason why they wanted you to be able to have, to have this option to renew them is because then they can raise the rates. They can raise the fee they charge to you. That's okay, because hey, if you can get a really great income for life, you're willing to probably pay for it but you need to do it, right? So you need to make sure that's extended. Now, if you're 64 and your thing's gonna run out this year or next year, and you're about to turn on income next year, eh, you probably don't need to do it. If it's three, four, five years away, then we'd have to do the math, but more than likely you wanna do it unless you're about to turn income on. Obviously, if you already turned it on, you don't have to worry about it. You're set for life. So again, that's the thing you wanna look at is uh, when you're gonna turn this on and how that payout is. Lastly, that payout, by the way, if you're doing it and you're married, it's based on the younger spouse's age. So that's the one you want to do. So even if it's your account, it may be your spouse's um, age that is based on if they're younger. So that's the other uh, thing to be thinking about is using that payout factor based on the younger spouse's age. But again, if you have a rider extension, now is the time to turn that form in and get that sent off. Thanks a lot.